Hello, this is Mahesh Ravi and in this video, we'll be learning a really interesting technique. It's very simple and it's very useful. Design mockups are very important when it comes to design testing. Once you design a decal or a package or a label, you want to actually test it. Before you take a printout, you want to test it on a virtual mockup. Smart mockups is a really interesting site which lets you try different mockups. But we will be looking at a different workflow today, which will be pretty interesting and easy to use. So uh, for this, I'm going to use Canva. Uh, Canva is a free online browser based graphic design package. And um, we will be creating a package design in here and using smart mockups to come up with uh, some really neat looking mockups for our design. So let's get started with our design. Let me start with the color. So we'll just quickly do uh, a design. So we have this and let's start with Okay, so now we have our design ready. It's a very simple design. So there are a lot of things that we need to test before we go in and that is the main intention of using a design mockup. And by using smart mockups, the whole process becomes really easy. So what we need to do is, the first thing is to, uh, from Canva, there is a very, very easy workflow to use smart mockups. So to do that, you can actually go to canva.com slash apps. So in here, there are a lot of third party apps that you can install to Canva and use it uh, with Canva. And we have smart mockups. So just search for smart mockups and this will pop up. So you just have to click this to install in uh, your uh, Canva. Once you have it, what you can do is you can go to the design. You can go to download, click the arrow button right next to download. Click on show more and you can see smart mockups will show up right here in your option. Click on this and you save your work. Once you save it, you will get this window where it will say that your design is saved and you can continue editing or you can view this in smart mockups. This is what we need to do. So click on this. This is going to open up in a new browser and will say that you can live preview your design. So Immediately, this is a cool thing about this, right? So immediately you can see your design appears in all the mockups, which is listed on smart mockups, right? It's pretty cool. So now you can choose any product that you want, right? And automatically this will appear here. So if I want this to be on a ceramic mug, so I can just click on this and the design will pop up right here on the mug. So now we can edit it right from here in smart mockups. You can do is to go here and you can see the mug and the Canva image. You can click on the edit button and now you can see a live, live preview right here and you can keep editing your work. So you can maybe zoom it out a bit, move it so you can see a little more of the product. If you can do that, I think we don't need this, right? So we can go a little to the up. It does a pretty good job crop and continue and we can see uh, that our product is right now in the mocha right so you can click download and there are different options to download you can download the highest if you want and you can save the mockup into the computer show it like that let's try this on a package so let's go back let's try this on a product packaging so we can choose perhaps this comes right in a package. You can click and you can edit the uh, fit. So I'm just going to bring it down. So you can see the live preview that uh, how it is adapting. Right. So it's coming right here. I can move it to the side or I can bring it right here. Maybe scale it up a bit. Yeah, looks pretty good. Crop and continue and we have our mockup on a package, right? Download this. 
So we have this as a PNG image. Now the beauty of this is that you can take it to Photoshop, compose it on a different background and make a really presentable design. So um, I hope this was a very useful tip and it's easy to get into. So try it out. Let me know your feedback. If you like the video, just subscribe and um, let me know your thoughts. I'll be back with another video soon. Take care. Bye.